We're tracking an ice storm warning tonight out in the gorge that could seriously impact interstate travel. Our Zach Anders is live in the gorge for us tonight. Zach, how are things looking outside? Bonnie, it's actually, it's not too bad, and I'm not just saying that because I forgot my bigger, bulkier coat. It's actually not that cold right now, but in a few hours, in fact, right now, an ice storm warning has gone into effect. It's expected to last until 8 a.m. That issued by the National Weather Service, and they say we could see a significant event that what they're calling could nearly make it impossible to travel on I-84 if there's enough ice accumulation. So certainly a significant weather event out here. Now, ice accumulations from a quarter to a half inch are expected between Multnomah Falls and the Cascade Locks. That may not sound like a lot, but just a quarter of an inch is enough to make the roads too slippery to drive. Of course, anything more than that, the roads only get worse. And enough ice has the ability to knock out utilities in the area. A half inch of ice is enough to add another 500 pounds to a power line between poles. The concern for early this morning is, of course, not just the roadways, but the power to homes in the area here. There will be something to look out for. And you may remember just yesterday, I-84 was shut down eastbound between Troutdale and Hood River because of icy conditions. Many drivers forced to turn around and take a different route or wait it out altogether. And again, the warning is going to end at 8 a.m. tomorrow. These temps should warm up just a little bit by the mid-morning hours so that the road should improve. But again, if you're heading out on I-84, there's any time between now and early this morning. It could, early tomorrow morning rather, it could really be icy and dangerous. And the Weather Service is asking you to try and do your best to avoid it if possible. Reporting live in Hood River, Zach Anders, Oxford, Oregon.